Hello, everybody. Oh my god. Hey, I can see myself in the bottom over there. Well, hello. Uh, this is Shank. Uh, Brian wanted me to do this, so I'm basically recording this literally specifically for Brian. Uh, this is the Zytec X52 Pro flight stick, or HOTAS as it's called, hands-on throttle and stick. I found that out like a week and a half ago, so that's cool. Uh, this is the throttle. Here's the actual aforementioned stick. Um, it's pretty sick. It's got like a thing here where you can lift up and fire. It's pretty sick, and it's got lights and all this stuff. So anyway, uh, let's 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 just uh, start here. Let's go to start, and all, all the buttons and everything are mapped pretty well. You can see here that there's a pinky trigger. Uh, this is basically for your head look to look at your you know your UI. Uh, viewing and all that stuff and it's got a dual stage trigger so you can halfway and then you can click it all the way and it's it's got a physical stop right here where that you can kind of go all the way it's pretty nice anyway um i have so much control all right uh yeah let's just do solo play it was giving me issues with group play earlier so yeah just the mic here. Okay, so here we are. This is uh, Rairi Hubby. Um, I don't know where I am. Abakunin system. Okay. That's cool. Let's uh, go to the uh, star. And uh, see if we can, you know, just kill some fools. Uh, already refueled. Okay, so let's go down to exit. So I can hold this pinky down here. It's pretty nice. I can hold it and then using one of the hat switches, you know, I can grab, uh, left and right in this menu and if I want tabs I can use that top hat up here pretty nice uh, the only problem is I uh, don't know yeah mass locked huh okay that's that's it's gonna be interesting okay so let's go to launch so that w the thing is in with the throttle and stick it's actually relatively difficult. Me, I don't even know difficult, but the docking and landing is a lot more challenging with the throttle and stick. And it's honestly because I just haven't gotten used to it yet. So let's. Uh I'm actually really concentrating. All right, let's uh landing gear retracted. Crawl this way. I have so much control. Oh my god. So it's kind of cool cuz you've got, you know, your pitch here, but also you got yaw here and then on one of the there's a little uh, d-pad almost thing here so you can throttle up down left right so it's pretty nice so then you've got your back throttle your forward throttle and when you stop it actually has like a lock you can see it and these numbers here that glow red when you're full lock okay so let's uh what am I doing? I think it's this button. Yeah. Now, the problem is, of course, that when I have my camera on the screen, like so you guys can see it, I can't see my displacement of power. So, like, 
I know that it's just up to full engines right now, but I don't, I have no clue. I mean, I have, I can't, I can't see where my power is being distributed. So that's, that's a cool thing. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's pretty cool. I feel like a total pilot, you guys. I have so much control. Let's see if uh, I can see the nav beacon. There it is. Yeah, so combat for some reason feels a little bit more natural with this than uh, landing and docking. And also, you know, just taking off. I don't know why that is. Um, maybe because I'm in open space versus a more constrained area. Let's reduce speed a little bit. Oh god, I'm gonna get slingshot around. So I'm not careful. Man, look at that, look at that sun. So sick. And it's all because I have so much control. Throttle up a little bit. My, my biggest fear is that I basically when I'm at that thing, I don't want to get like destroyed by the gravity of this. All right, here we go. We got to get ready to disengage FSD. You're telling me, I think it's T3. Oh God. I can't remember. So many buttons. Yes, it is. By blind luck, you guys. By blind luck. Let's start scanning these guys. Who's this guy? He's an expert. Clean. The guys still above me here, these guys. Dangerous? Clean. Uh, is he elite dangerous? What about this guy? I already scanned him. Okay. So as you can see, this is making for an excellent video. I'm literally just trying to find people. Uh, looks like there's some guys over there. An expert. I mean, what about this guy? already scanned him. Oh, I'm getting scanned, you guys. But it's awesome because I have so much control. Alright, there's a dude over there. Nope, that's a nav beacon. right on top of me. I don't know. I can't... I have no idea where anybody is. That's the nav beacon. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go find the nav beacon here. Because uh, usually guys, like, warp in from over here. Tell me... Oh, is that him? There's another guy right there. I've already freaking scanned him. Well, all right. This is becoming very tawdry. Oh, 
there's some guys over there. I have not scanned this guy yet. Harmless. Please have a bounty. Damn it. He's in a wing. Probably in a wing with this guy. Who the hell is this guy? I want to fight. I already found this guy, of course I did. Okay, well, in that case, let's go to the... Oh, Treaty gonna be in here. No. Alright, let's, uh, I gotta use my mouse and keyboard for this because this is faster. And of course I can do that on a PC. Uh, let's go to Potriti because I know for a fact that there's always going to be douchebags here. I have no idea how many jumps that's going to be. Apparently a decent amount. Okay. Well, we're going to go there. Uh, where am I going? Let's go there. Frame shift drive charging. Power needs your help. Ass warp. This is our next system. Frame shift drive charging. Um, I, I, I know I can map buttons to like. There's some buttons I can use here for frame shift. I don't, I don't know, but there's it's mapped by default to this thing down here. You can see that there's three buttons. Q. I feel like Tom Cruise in that one movie with planes. Oh god. Kidney. Frame drift drive cool in progress. See, I can't see that. Uh, toggle it now. Drive charging. Like that that camera screen. I probably should have made it a little bit smaller. But I, I got. It's literally keeping me from seeing some of the stuff on the screen. Four, three, two, one, oh yeah, I can't see that when I'm in warp. There it is, last jump. Frame shipped online. Let's frame go. Shift drive I guess I could just look in the info pane, which it's telling me frame shipped online. Yeah, there's a, there's a few buttons and stuff on here. Well, well, they're not buttons. They're like dials that you don't use. But Four, three, all right, you guys. So this is the last jump. Um. Hopefully there's pirates here. Otherwise we kind of did this whole thing for basically nothing. And that would be tawdry balls. Okay. Here we go. Let's slow down our speed. Let's look for the nav beacon. Which is, where is it? Over there.
Gotta make sure I stay out of the gravity well, basically, of that sun. Otherwise, it's gonna spell trouble. Uh, you can also adjust the uh, tension of this. So you can have it, you can basically the resistance, so you can have it have more or less resistance as you throttle up and down. Um, I just left it at, at its default setting. Um, I, I kind of like the sensitivity. It kind of gives me really nice fine-tuned control, which is, which is nice. Come on. This is going to be a very, very thrilling video. Two million miles. Okay, here we go. We're about to get ready to drop out of frame shift. Alright, there we go. Start scanning these guys. God damn it. These guys look like they're in a wing. Dangerous. Clean. So he's in a clean wing. What about this guy? Kind of going slower now. He's clean. What the hell, man? Why are all these people clean? This this is Tadri Balls. Please be dangerous, or please be... God damn it. What about this guy? He's elite. He's in basically my sh my same ship, but he's elite. Meaning if I tried to take him on, I would be pretty dead. I think I already scanned this guy, yeah. Like, all these guys over here are in wings, it looks like. Mostly harmless. Clean. God damn it. But his friend. There's literally there, scan that guy. Well, this is this has been entertaining. I think what I've done is uh, made a successful video showing off the cleanliness of the uh, the Potridi system. Oh wait a second, guys! There's assholes over here. What about this guy? I already scanned him. Well. Deadly. Wanted. So let's pull out our hard points. And uh, if we die, well, we die. You guys, way the hell over there. All right, here we go. Come on. Shields down, man. I'm getting scanned by who knows what. Where is he? Is that him over there? 
That's him, way the hell over there. It's not this guy, it's the guy behind him. That guy. Holy shit. Holy shit. Guys doing loops. No, you know what? I'm gonna do reverse thrust. Back away. There we go, now forward thrust. I got help. This is great. I have so much control. All right, secondary fire. Hells yeah. Get him, son. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! 29,000 bounty. That was incredible. Let's put our hard points back. That was incredible. That was totally worth it. I don't know if that... I don't know if you guys saw any of that. Um, it was probably a frantic mess, but uh, I genuinely did feel like I had more control with this thing. Uh, which is nice. Uh, so let's go. Collect. Our... Uh, Bounty. Four, three, two, one, engage. I got a text. Brian sent me five thumbs up. Good job, Brian. So yeah, um, this is so good for combat because if there's a guy doing loops like there, I just, I took me a second to figure it out, but there's a button on here where you can just uh, reverse thrust. So basically you're going to be pulling back so he can't keep, you know, doing loops behind you because you can kind of get some distance. Of, um, and it's just one button for reverse thrust. It's really nice. Um, and it's the same, you know, forward and backwards to oh, shit. Here we go. I'm going to shoot past this guy. Yep. Uh, but it's the same forward and backwards to increase or decrease that reverse thrust. So, uh, it's... I don't know how to say it. It's, it's a... This is... It's going to take... There's a definite learning curve to this. There really is, but... In the couple hours that I've been playing with it, it's very, it's very fun. It really, I mean, it really genuinely makes you feel like you're flying one of these things, which is really sick. So, I like being able to make like minute adjustments to the throttle, so I haven't really messed with this. Hey, there's another dude, or NPC guy. Right. Here's Hartsfield Plant. Uh, this is a outpost, not a starport, as indicated by the hologram. So let's go ahead and request docking. Oh shit. Let's put away our hard points. I don't know why I uh, pulled those out. Alright, where am I? Landing pad 1. Where's landing pad 1? Load out. Oh wait, there's something over here. This landing pad 1. This might be landing pad 1. Oh, there's two of them. God, I don't know which one's which.
I have absolutely no idea if this is landing pad one. I'm taking a complete guess. This is landing pad one, okay. Uh, where is the... Okay, so there is... The... Thing. The wall for my, uh... So it doesn't basically blow up the, uh... Engines. So let's line up. over a little hill thrust get down it, it, I was actually kind of concentrate that was ridiculous you really have to think when using these things it's I like it it's it's challenging Brian probably shouldn't use these starport services now I'll use my mouse my g502 proteus which is kick ass um, I cannot reload here because this, this is a outpost, and apparently this outpost does not have ammo. Yay! Commander Shank the Tank. Uh, I think it's in contact. Redeem all bounty vouchers. Nice! So I have 640k now. Um, nothing from here, huh? Oh yeah, I already sold my map data. Uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, hopefully you liked this video. Brian, hopefully this was useful. If nothing else, it was pure tawdry balls trying to find some goddamn people to fight. Um, but in the end, we found somebody and we killed somebody and these are kick ass and I love them a lot because they're kick ass. And uh, I guess the only thing left to, uh, to say right now is um, I have so much control. 